Welcome to another week of a friendly nudge. So this week we're making salmon coconut curry. And I, I love this stuff. We've made it several times and it's always a favorite. So I've got a big piece of salmon there, some ginger, a couple of cloves of garlic, jalapeno, purple onion, a lime, some black pepper, salt, sweet miso, fish sauce, avocado oil, some dried lemongrass, a cup of full fat coconut milk, some rice, and some cilantro. And this is, the, the prep on this is kind of where all the time is, because cooking it happens in just a hurry, but this stuff is delicious. So I took boiling water and put it on the salmon to get the skin off because I'd seen somebody do this online and it's like, okay, man, this is the easy way to do it. Well, I've kind of figured out, I don't think there is an easy way to get uh, skin off a of salmon <laughs> unless you just buy it already that way. But, you know, this was a little tedious, but it wasn't that bad. You know, I decided that the cutting board was the better way to do it. And I'm using a uh, fillet knife, which, you know, I thought, well, this will make it a little simpler. Ah, you know, it's just, it's a little bit of a hassle, but it's not a big deal. So got all the skin off and then I'm just going to cut this into pieces, right? So I'm just going to slice it all the way down and then I'm going to slice it long ways. So what you're looking for is kind of like big bite-sized pieces. So I'm going to get all this like set up on the tray because I want to have all of my ingredients like over by the pot when I get ready to cook it. So we're just going to get this here and just set it aside. And then I'm using the back of a spoon to peel a pretty good sized piece of ginger. And then I just slice it real thin and then I'm going to chop it. And then, you know, because all we're trying to do is get the ginger into small pieces. Once again, get that kind of ready so that when I start cooking, it's all right there. Uh, you know, we're going to put a jalapeno in and, uh, you know, you don't have to take the seeds out. I always do because it's like I like it hot, but I don't want it to wreck me. So, you know, I just pull the seeds out and uh, that will have that ready to go. And then we're going to cut the onion up. We're not going to chop it. We're just going to slice it. And I always cut the onion to where that I have like a flat surface so I don't have to worry about it turning while I'm cutting it. And just, you know, have that ready to go. Now we're going to do the sam the uh, garlic, just get the skins off of it. And then we're going to just chop it real fine. And once again, get it ready to go. And, you know, I want to get the pot hot. And then I'm add just a little bit of avocado oil. If I'm going to use a real hot skillet or a pot, then I'll use avocado. If it's not quite that hot, then I'll use olive oil. So I'm putting the, the uh, garlic in. I'm going to put the ginger, uh, the jalapenos. I'm just going to get kind of all of the fresh ingredients in first. We're going to add the onions. And, you know, I always talk about not burning the garlic. This is going to get stirred pretty quick, so we don't have to worry about that. Add a little bit of salt to it, uh, a little bit of pepper, and then we're going to get that stirred around. And then we're going to add the miso paste. And, it, you know, it calls for, I think it, the recipe I looked at called for like a quarter of a cup. I just, you know, put most of a, a, the one of those packets in there. Not completely, but it's pretty close. Because what we're wanting to do is to caramelize the miso paste. So we're just going to like kind of let it hang out there just a little bit. But, you know, kind of keeping it stirred because I don't want anything to start burning. And then I add some lemongrass to it. I think that adds a real nice flavor. Uh, I, I didn't, I kind of uh, like overdid the pinch. So I tossed a little to the side. Uh, and then that is a cup of full fat coconut milk. And get that stirred in. And then I'm going to add... Uh, three cups of water and you could make it a little, you know, a little less water uh, it, it probably increase the kind of the coconut flavor, but this seemed like a good ratio. And 
you know, I want to get it, I want to get it hot. I don't want to have it boil because I'm not trying to boil the salmon. This is really more of just a poach. So I think I had it to like about 175 and now I'm just going to add the salmon. And with salmon, it doesn't take any time at all to cook it. Um, you know, I'm going to check the temp here in just a little while. You know, the main thing is I want it above about, you know, 130. And that doesn't take any time to do that. So, like I said, this is one that comes together really fast. You're just going to stir that in. And then really what, what you can see with the salmon is that it'll cut. You can see it start to uh, flake just a little bit. I mean, it's pretty pretty evident when uh, salmon is done. And, you know, with this, because it's in the broth, it's not quite as critical that you pull it out, you know, at like 125, like I might if I was cooking it on the grill. Uh, and now I've, t I've turned the heat off. I'm going to add like a couple of real good handfuls of spinach. Because this, what I love about this is that this is like a meal in a bowl. So, and then I'm going to add the juice of one whole lime. So, get that half squeezed in and then we'll add the other half. The, you know, the, the recipe that I looked at, I don't think it called for lime. There, it was really kind of surprising. It was like a New York Times uh, recipe, but it didn't have fish sauce. And it, this thing just screams for fish sauce. So to put a couple of good shakes of that in and then just get the, uh, all I'm going to do now is just get the spinach stirred in. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to make sure that I didn't need to add like any more salt. It's just trying to see, okay, our flavor's on point with this. And now we're going to go ahead and make a bowl. So I had a little bit of rice in the bottom of it. And, you know, I buy this uh, parboiled rice from Costco. It's like you just microwave it and it's done in just like a minute and a half. And then I'm going to add cilantro leaves to it and just a little bit of uh, lime. So you guys have a wonderful week. And, uh, you know, as always, I'm going to be sure to tell you that uh, it's important that you play with your food.